hitboxes. So they're they're also very easy to space. However, Zelda's mobility is, is abysmal. It's terrible. It's going um, to be really hard because Fox is extremely fast, and the way to beat Zelda is to get in on her and put on pressure, because the only option she really has is to jump out of shield and forward air or back air. Or and down it, smash. Crouch cancel down smash is also an option in lower percents. Um, the only thing Fox could crouch cancel that? I mean, even if you're accidentally going for a shine and crouch cancel it. The thing is, it is an extremely fast move that she might just be able to recover from in time to roll away from or something. That said, Zelda's roll also is bad. I, I'm thinking retreating forward airs or something might actually be an, a better option. I'm not, we'll have to see how he plays his defense. Very he's, interested he's, to see. I'm just I'm worried that double fox is just going to not let him do anything. These are two relatively technical fox players, but they're also two relatively inconsistent fox players. The, when they're both on point, they can both do amazing things. But when they're not, they commit suicide, they <laughs> fall for follow-ups that they shouldn't. So it looked like, for example, I believe Cow is Cowie. Um, oh, okay. From the team Cow and Chicken, which was uh, his Bowser <laughs> and Meds's uh, Luigi. I see. Anyway, um, it looked like he was uh, jumping off to the left, thinking that he was on the right side instead. <laughs> well, half a minute in, the percents are pretty even. Zelda's got a 69, so let's see if she can rock it out and do something with it. Um, All right, up throw to forward air is probably going to close out the stock. Yep, Zelda has combos on Fox. Her Ooh, she accidentally kills her own teammate though. Her dash attack, her up throw, they all are actually very good moves <laughs> at uh, knocking Fox up and juggling him. So I feel like all the Foxes are fighting each other and Zelda's just kind of chilling on the side. But it's kind of even right now. Everyone just got their first stock taken care of, so we'll we'll see. It's pretty much reset out. Bert, if that is his or bird, there's another bird. Okay, bird. Bird, if that is his name, uh, he looks like he's kind of holding his own. Uh, he, he's not getting double teams too hard, and that's letting Zelda stay safe, just to kind of sit on the side and get her little support hits when she can. Janet like, just showed pretty good tech skill by being able to smash DI out of Fox's up air. It's a very important uh, bit of tech to have whenever you're playing against Fox, because if you get up thrown, you need to be able to smash DI that up air in order to escape immediate tech. This situation right here, and situations like Ooh, it... Oh, she oh. missed the sweet spot. Again! Can she get this? Oh, goes for the, the straight forward, but he goes above it. Just grab that ledge, close out that stock. Wow. It was... Like I was going to say, situations like those where Zelda is zoned out and it's just the two foxes on the one, those are the situations that Red Team really needs to be taking better advantage of. Because if they can get that one fox alone, those fox stocks are going to drop really fast. And even if Zelda is stock tanking for him, there's only so much that anyone can do against the double fox if they're really playing things right. Um, what I have yet to see Red Team do is really apply that pressure on any one member of the team. Stocks are tied up right now. Up. Trade oh, stocks. still, still the same. That's an interesting setup. Have Zelda sit on the top platform, so if he tries to recover from above, I'm sure she could just jump the forward air while Fox holds the ledge and keeps the ground covered. Yeah, I feel like Zelda would be uh, really strong in the platform, provided that someone couldn't get under her, and that's exactly what uh, Janet's partner is doing for him. <gasps> oh, okay, she still gets the opportunity. If she makes this... Oh. Can I just say it's very confusing that his tag is Janet, he's playing a female character, but I'm still referring to him as he. It's a little bit confusing. Alright, let's see what they do. The tree is making this two 1v1s, and Zelda closes it out, so we've got a 2v1 situation with Fox and Zelda. Not exactly sure what uh, crazy combos they could do, but... Yeah, Timon is having trouble just, uh, Timon being Janet, pardon me. He's having trouble just getting over the tree right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. I don't, I don't want to have to up B to do that. But well, Green Team closes it out. They signed the dotted line, and the contract is complete. We're going to go to the second game. It looks like, just looking at the score screen, Fox was definitely getting all the kills, and Zelda was just holding on to stock. So I think uh, someone's putting the team on their back. Yeah. I, I want to see Red Team putting more pressure on either the Fox or the Zelda. Probably the Fox, because Zelda can't get in to help. 
and I want to see them shut that player down instead of giving him all the kills. Because um, green team, in theory, should not be able to help each other that well. At least, I don't think I saw them doing any, like, grab and throw on synergies. Like, I feel Fox could do a lot of things if you just throw him towards the other Fox, the Fox can get free ups. Oh! Is he going to, to Bowser? Bowser? Is that for real? That's for real. Callie has a Bowser. And on Yoshi's story, it might actually be a better option here. Okay. I, I was a longtime player, so I played against Gimpy Fish back in the day, and Gimpy Fish played it on this stage against me, and it was like playing a whole different game. Because his ability to grab the ledge and do a ledge get up attack is yeah. extremely fast and extremely safe, so the he plays into that a lot. We the platform movement is... It makes Bowser almost a viable character on this stage. <laughs> Keyword almost. Honestly, I would just rack up damage on him to get to 100% before I actually start playing against him. Until then, I would just ignore him. I'd just go for the other Fox and hopefully get him up to 100% because then he can no longer do the get up attack. What Callie's going to do is just take up a lot of space with big hitboxes and force people to play further towards his partner than they want to. Um, he's going to gonna stock tank. He's going to last a while. <laughs> Everyone off the stage. All right. So they're just going to sit there and wait in invincibility. Uh, Ninji drops a little early to get a good punish on Janet. Oh, I feel like he dropped that. He could have definitely gotten a free forward air on Bowser right there. And again. All right, Fox just throwing out neutral airs, stopping Zelda. Meanwhile, this other Fox just can't get back on stage. Long enough to do anything, at least. Yeah, he it, keeps on missing that sweet spot on forward air and back air. I feel like if he just had slightly better spacing, he would have a lot more impact on this game. If that had been an up air, that would have really changed the momentum of the match, but he's just a little bit too high for the ninja, ninja to reach. All right. So now this is actually turning out pretty well for him. Oh, except for Bowser's a big, big hurt box, so they definitely hit want sweet Bowser spot on. Fox and not on Zelda because he's a large target and Zelda loves big targets like that. Again with everyone getting wiped off the stage at just about the same time. Oh, but there goes a free kill. One shine is enough to take down any low tier character. You have to be at least in the top eight to have to take two shines to die. <laughs> oh, and there goes the Bowser oh, uh, no. unconsensual intercourse. Oh, he's just getting spaced out by shines. Oh, I think he wanted to drop through that platform and try to shine him off again. Oh, he got an up tilt, but Zelda covers his partner very well. I see what he was trying to do there, to forward B into Bowser's grab to stop him, but Bowser throws out a hitbox all around him and covers that. Wow. Oh, just slaps him right off the stage. I was kind of expecting to kill was, him on Yoshi's. That was just sheer unfamiliarity with what Bowser does at the ledge on the stage. Oh, no. So, okay, Callie takes the stock, and I can kind of see this because Bowser lives a while. And on this stage, he as has long as he doesn't get shot. He has some safe tricks. Um, All right. It's going to be a matter of stray hits for Bowser, but if he can land them, he can at least get Zelda down, and then maybe try and get a Gimp on Fox. It's going to be rough. I don't know if he can just keep throwing out smash attacks like that. Oh, oh that's cool. Is, that's cool. Let's see that, it. He can't follow that up any further. No, Janet comes down, but... Oh, oh, no! Oh, okay. On Randall, on Randall. Oh, no. Yeah, air dodge onto Randall. Didn't look like he saw Randall oh. there, and he didn't, didn't give himself Randall, the, didn't give himself the edge. So green team takes it uh, too well. So I think we're going to have another loser's quarters match next.